What's good, y'all, man? It is your boy, JP Productions, man. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, Professor JP in the cut, you know what I'm saying? We're bringing out the whiteboard, you know? Like, I'm back. But, um, hey, hope you guys are having a great day so far, man. Um, it's a beautiful day, man. If, you were, if you're able to see this video right now, God was able to wake you up this morning. Just, just think about that for a second. God decided to wake you up. Because at any moment, you may not wake up, but you got another day. So praise God for that. But for today's video, man, we're going to be talking about pretty much um, how to pretty much evaluate yourself to figure out what you need to improve on as a player, right? Because everybody has their own games. You know, you got guys that like to shoot. You got guys that like to dribble and create, you know, create for others, create for themselves to drive down the lane and etc. Everybody has their own game, right? And everybody has their strengths and everybody has their weaknesses, right? So, and the major thing for, you know, finding out what you need to get better at is playing more games. So that's gonna be the first one, all right? So number one, play more games, okay? That's gonna be the first one. You gotta play more games, you have to. Because when it's game time, playing in games, that's pretty much going to showcase what you got, right? That's going to expose not only what you could do, but it's going to also expose the things that you need to work on. So if you're a bad defender and you got a good offensive player on that other side, you will get exposed. <laughs> you will get exposed. Trust me. You'll see it. Or if you're a player that can't shoot, catch and shoot, and every time you get that ball, that's if they pass you the ball. You catch a shoot, you did that thing, and you try to shoot it, air ball, or you keep on bricking five times, ten times in a row, people are going to be like, you can't really shoot. And when that happens, they're not going to pass you the ball no more. And catch a shoot is a very, very important skill to have, especially right now in today's game, which is why I really, really tell you guys, like, hey, you got to be able to shoot catch a shoot shots. It's, it's a must in the game of basketball right now. You have to, okay? But the first thing, like I said, it, man, was you got to play more games, man, because whenever you're practicing by yourself, you know, of course, you're working on both your strengths and weaknesses. I hope you are working on your weaknesses as well. Too many players out here are not working on their weaknesses, which is why they stay in the same spot. OK, but that's a different story. You got to play more games. OK, a lot of people are like, hey, JP, like like I had this one subscriber of mine, one supporter of mine saying like, hey, I'm not even going to play pickup for like two months and I'm going to just, you know, work on my game. There's nothing wrong with working on your game. You got to work on your game. But you can't just, you know, put pick up to the side like that, especially if you're trying to go up another level, man. Because, bro, if you're training by yourself, right, there's nothing wrong with that. You could get a lot of stuff done. But... When it comes to actual game time speed, right? You got actual game time defenders, different defenders guarding you. That's totally different. You know what I'm saying? These guys that you see in the league right now, these guys you see in college right now, you know, they worked on their game alone for sure, but they played a lot of games because at the end of the day, you want to become great during games. You don't want to become the, you know, a Hall of Fame practice player. You don't want that to happen. You want to become good in games and in games it's unpredictable at times and you just got to you know get in the flow with things and you have to play more games right to really really understand what you're good at and what you're bad at so that's going to be the first thing to do you got to play more games the second thing is after you get done playing that game you have to evaluate yourself Evaluate yourself. Number two, evaluate yourself. After that game, look back, right? And be like, okay, what can I have done better? Like, oh, uh, you had a good game? Hey, good job, you had a good game. You had a bad game? That's tough, but hey, there's always next time. Whether you got a good game, whether you got a bad game, you should always be talking about, okay, what could I have done better, right? You could you could think back to that one player like, ah, instead of throwing that bounce pass, I could have just threw a lob to him. Or, ah, instead of driving in for that, you know, contested layup, you had that three-point shot, you were wide open. You could have took that shot. 
But due to you being scared because you missed your previous two shots and your teammates are getting mad at you, you're like, ah, uh, you know what? My confidence is kind of shaky right now, so I'm not going to do that, right? And which is when practice comes into play because practice, that's whenever you begin to master your skill. That's, you got to. You got to master that skill. But you got to evaluate yourself. What did you do good? What did you do bad, right? Take that in your mind, right? And if, if you want to write it down on a sheet of paper as soon as you get home or as soon as you get done, you know, playing pickup, you want to type it down in your phone, like, okay, this is what I did good today. This is what I did bad today, right? And just take notes. And every time you play a game, go ahead and type it down. Go ahead and write it down and see, okay, this is what I'm really good at. This is what I'm, this is my game. But when it comes to so-and-so, let's just say, when it comes to shooting, I can't shoot right so whenever you get down to you know making your schedule making your plan right for your workouts you'll be like okay i got to be able to work on catch and shoot not just shooting random you know lazy shots because that's not going to translate in games okay this is another gem i'm going to go ahead and explain too many people nowadays bro they just shoot random shots okay they go to the gym bounce the ball once shoot that thing they walk over and get the ball like bro you're not gonna get that luxury in a game my guy you're gonna have seven footers running after you you're gonna have freaking six footers with long wingspans coming after you quick speed ninja speed coming at you bro you don't got time to be shooting lazy shots you get that you follow me you, you don't have time for that so you got to be able to work on shots that you know you will take in games so how do you know what shots you take in games? Number one, you got to be able to know, okay, what type of player I am, what is my strengths, and what is my weaknesses, right? So those are pretty much the main things. And this is something I really, you know, I want you guys to start doing. Like after each game, think about, think about that game, man. Think about the good things that you did. Think about the bad things that you did. How did you, you know, expose yourself in a good way as far as, you know, your strengths and also how did you get exposed whether it comes to your defense or whether it comes to your shot your shot selection or etc all right these are the main things how do you determine what to get better at as a player you got to play more games and number two you got to evaluate yourself and the last and final thing i'll go ahead and say is you got to practice you have to practice Without practice, you will go nowhere. You see, there's a lot of people that play the game of basketball and they never practice, they never go to the court at all. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I would say they're decent, right? But just imagine them right now, they're decent. They never practice on their own, right? But imagine they do that and they also work on their game. So their weaknesses that they, you know, had whenever they play in the game and they worked on that. So now that becomes a strength. So now, their game is slowly rising up. They used to be a 59 overall, now they're like a 70 overall. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't want to work on their weaknesses because that's a, you know, you're gonna fail the first time. You're gonna fail. But guess what? You're only a failure if you decide to stay there. If you want to improve, you have to take that leap of faith and say, okay, I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna improve in this area, whether it's shooting, whether it's working on my handle, whether it's working on my defense, whether it's getting stronger, whatever it is, whatever your weakness is, the only way for you to get better at it is you have to attack it. That's gonna to conclude today's video. Uh, I appreciate you guys' love and support, man. I try to make it short, but it's about 10 minutes long, but it's all good. It's all good in the hood. I appreciate y'all's support, man. Be sure to like the video. Subscribe if you are new. If you have any questions, feel free to, you know, drop a comment down below. Or if you have a long question, you want me to help you with your jump shot, whatever the case is, follow me on the gram, okay? Because I'll be on the gram a lot more. And I read pretty much all my DMs. I'm not that guy that's like, you know... I'm not Hollywood and I don't read, I read all y'all's DMs. Just, just know that I read, I see you guys DMs, all right? I may not get to it ASAP, but I'm gonna get to it, all right? It's your boy JP, man. I hope you guys have a great day. God is good today, yesterday, and forever.